Do I have to do this every year? Because I'll change it up each time. <laughs> yep, every no, year. No, the truth is more amazing than anything. <laughs> That's true. Have you done that every time? Is everyone here? I'm glad. We need to get hunting stuff off the couch. What's with that? That's all for the movie. Fred. Oh, okay. That's the movie for us. Okay. Who's is Zoe? Yes. Zoe! <laughs> Oh yeah, get them because it's Joey. worth it. Zoe! Come here! Anybody that, that drives these cigarettes? Rach and Amy are... Wait, are you ready? It was a Dodge Caravan. Now we call it Christine. I don't know if y'all have seen that movie, Killer Cars. <laughs> They're too young. As I'm on my way home, I went to stop in the mailbox to check the mail, rolled down the window, and reached for the mail and dropped something on the ground. So I opened the door, reached out to the ground to pick up whatever it was. It was a bill, I'm sure. And the car started rolling, so I grabbed the door and hit the gas so that we could go forward. Well, it wasn't going forward. It was squishing my hand between the door and the mailbox. And it still wasn't going forward, so I just kept pushing harder and harder on this gas because when you do that, the car is supposed to go forward. Well, the mailbox twisted off the 4x4, four four, twisted it, and took, and the mailbox, when the post broke, the mailbox flipped and let go of my hand. So then I fell out of the car. <laughs> and I'm sitting on the ground, and my foot is under the front wheel, front wheel of the car. And I sitting here, and I looked around, and in our neighborhood, everybody works. It's 3.30, I know it's going to be two hours before somebody else comes home. You know, we're not going to sit there in the fire ants for two hours. So, I was younger then, and I was able to get into the car, foot under one wheel, hit the gas, because it's still supposed to go forward, but it hit the gas, and the door is open, and I'm sitting on the ground, and the car is in reverse. And I didn't realize that the door came. I had to lay back real quick. I'm lucky I didn't decapitate myself. Because <laughs> the car was coming at me. And so I just rolled over both my feet. <laughs> and I remember sitting there at 3.30 in the afternoon, knowing nobody's coming home till 5. And I had just broken both my feet, because that's what happens when cars roll over. And I just watched Christine back off into the woods. <laughs> and the door's jammed open. So I thought, well, I call the thing up for cell phones, and I had my cell phone. I got in the car, and I was going to drive myself to the ER, but it was, the door was bent, so I couldn't shut it. So I called Jack, and he's in the middle of a procedure. Didn't you have to, like, crawl all the way down the driveway and into the ditch? And I watched the car, the car, but I was able to get up and walk and was amazed oh, okay. that my two thought-to-be-broken feet still functioned. But um, I got in the car and drove, you know, I was trying to get the door shut to go to the ER. And I called, With your bad arm? Yeah. Called, yeah, I was bleeding. And it was swelling up, and my hand was flat and black, and I figured something was broke. <laughs> so I called Jack, and he answers the phone. Oh, no, he's not got a pager. And in an emergency, if I just need to call at any time, I put in a phone number one time. If it's an emergency, I put it in twice at least. He said it lit up. It probably went through there six times, so he knew something bad had happened. So he called me, and I said, I've just run over myself with a car and you need to go get paid. <laughs> time for her to get picked up at school, which is where I was headed after I got the mail. He said, you what? I'm not in the mood. I said, it's time to go get paid. I've run myself over the car and you need to go get paid. <laughs> well, y'all have seen Jack. He's been 300 pounds pretty much ever since we got married. He was on the fourth floor and could not wait for an elevator. So he ran down all, all four flights of stairs. <laughs> the medical secretary said she knew something bad wrong because she'd never seen Jack move so fast. <laughs> Flattened her. So he gets in the car because he figured he could be home before. He, he's going, he, he tells me, call EMS, call. So I call instead of, I don't listen to him any better than he listens to me. So I called Debbie, our friend, and I said, I've run over myself with the car and to go get paid. So what? And I'm just getting all kinds of Christian mad here because nobody is listening to me. You know, I said, I've run myself over the car and you've got to go get paid. So fortunately, she listened and she went and got Caitlin. My husband took me to the ER and my arm was not broke, but I have. If I get cold, you can still see where I crushed my hand. I did break the tip of my finger. Lost my watch. 
My feet were not broke, but when I'm cold, you still see tread marks. <laughs> um, That's not true. It is true. On my left foot, you can still see tread marks. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fight was between the insurance company, the car insurance, and my medical. Who was going to pay for myself because I ran myself over? <laughs> I had an ER bill and I had a broken door on my car. And I, to this day, don't know. And I, I couldn't remember what happened the first 24 hours. Um, I just kept telling them I ran myself over twice because I had an arm and then my feet. But if I, if I crushed, oh my crushed my hand before I fell out, but I just only ran myself over once. <laughs> Twice made a better story. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so geez. we sold the van for $500 and never told the old man the story, so I hope he doesn't fall out of it. Did you get your mailbox fixed? Yes. Was the 2 by 4 same thing? <clears throat> I don't know if we went strong or weak. It could be time. happening again. So after that, Caitlin, when she was with me checking the mail, she'd have me by the shirt. Breaks was going to get mail. She was hanging on to me to make sure I didn't fall out. Oh. But there was, I mean, you can imagine how, I just kept hitting the gas and just kept going back and back and back because that post twisted this way. You know, oh, man. Yeah. You're going to be really cold. And ripped crazy. your drawer open. And didn't decapitate with now you've heard the story. Yay! We need a picture of that.